Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have another Degard lock. This time, this one's an inch and a half mortise and it is five pins with interactive. Put our key back here, put our card, and let's give this a go. Um, I'm really enjoying the feel of these locks. Um, when you, for me anyway, when I got the feel of the multi locks down, uh, it just kind of clicked afterwards and everything, uh, picking these it just became so much more fun. Or just fun in general. Come on, get under that pin there. There we go. The base is sliding around a little bit. We have to put some traction on the bottom of it. Three, there we go. Some little clicks out of five. Out of two. I believe we need to go up higher on that now. That is our interactive. All right, yeah. Let me get our pick under it correctly here. There we go. Flipped our pick. Let's make sure we got that now. I'm not sure if we did because we flipped our freaking pick again. So I think this pick is a little bit longer. Yeah, I believe we have pin two now. Check the rest, see if we feel something. This is one, two, three, four is being a little difficult to get by. I think it's pretty low. There we go. Four, five. Passed it up a little bit. Yeah, we got it under there, but flipped our pick again. There we go. One. And just get the outer here. There we go the inner. There we go. We might be able to switch to our normal flag here. Start getting the rest of these pushed up. Thing on four. Five, no. Three, no. And two, okay. Put a tad bit more tension on it. There we go, there's three. Five.
Take two again. Maybe not. Let some tension back off. So like three, I'm getting a little bit of movement on three here. Switch picks. Was four. It needs something extra thin to get under it, I guess. Here's two again. Nice big turn. I think five back here. Oh, there's one. The inner on one. There's our open. Now let's. This got it. Here's our key. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close it just to make sure that we don't accidentally do something. the back of our our key pushed out that little spot right there there we go make sure it's in correctly oh interesting one of the inners looks like a um, different kind of metal look at the second one that one looks brass Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's the uh, interactive one, eh? This probably is a little different there. There you go. Now let's get our... driver pins. I guess they'll just shoot out the back. I think that'll work actually, so we'll do that. There we go. Easy peasy. All right. So here we are. Looks like spools in every position on our drivers here and all of our key pins right there and yeah you can see the second one right there is a different brass I suppose and here is our key there we go Let's see if there's anything inside here you can see the interactive element. Let's see if I can get this focus. Interactive element right there, that little bump that is right there. There we go. So a little bump right there. There's our interactive element right there. 
So yeah, we can push down on it. And that was a five pin to guard lock. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.